morning, I'm Haas, the old quarterback, and this is the 69 News Netcast. If you weren't watching 69 News at sunrise, here's a bit of what you missed. A motorcycle accident in Berks County has turned fatal. It happened on Route 61 South in Tilden Township just before 9.30 last night. State police say a pickup truck hauling a trailer was heading north on Route 61 in the left turning lane to get onto I-78 West. They say the trailer was still crossing 61 when a motorcycle driven by a 24-year-old Leesport man hit it. The motorcyclist was killed. Route 61 was shut down while police investigated and reopened just before 3 this morning. The accident remains under investigation. The Saucon Valley School District will be placed in the national spotlight thanks to a documentary that's being filmed there. It's about long-running racial tensions at the school. The crew will be filming in the school's hallways beginning Monday and producing the show for the A&E Network. Kelly Desimone has more. The documentary will show how the Saucon Valley District is tackling its problem with race issues. Earlier this year, the district was hit with a civil rights lawsuit, claiming administrators failed to protect a pair of black students from repeated racial intimidation. In one case, the parents who filed the lawsuit say their son had a Confederate flag draped on his shoulders by students who call themselves rednecks. The problem Saucon Valley has are certainly not unique to Saucon Valley. Uh, what may be unique is the fact that we're being very proactive about how we handle them. Wednesday night at the high school, parents had a chance to ask questions and voice their concerns to the documentary team. Our cameras were kept out of the meeting by Michael Carabin, president of the school board. He called the meeting closed. Less than a dozen parents attended the meeting, and although we weren't allowed in the auditorium, echoes from raised voices inside the auditorium could be heard outside. One one parent who attended the meeting and didn't want to be on camera called it exhausting. Solomon is a parent and a member of the school's inclusion committee. He says there is also a spirit committee made up of students that's working to make the school community more inclusive. Solomon says this documentary is an opportunity to show the work both students and parents are doing to combat racial tensions. When the light is shined on something like this, it encourages the best of people and it will be a good thing for our community. Solomon says most of the parents in the meeting don't agree with him about that. He says they do have valid fears. Most of them are afraid. They're afraid of being targets, especially in light of all the violence uh, that, that's happened and, and uh, racist incidents in the country. And mostly they're just afraid of, of the light being shined on the community. And while I understand that, um, I think it's important that we take a stand and we take a stand publicly. And I support this entirely. Callie Desimone, 69 News. In a close vote, the Reading School Board has rejected opening a health resource center packed, backed by Planned Parenthood at Reading High School. The board voted down the center five votes to four. Protesters and supporters of the center gathered outside the school administration building before the vote. The issue stretches beyond Reading as many supporters and protesters came from outside the county to the meeting. I felt that this issue was so important that it was worth making the trip here to Berks County because it comes to our youth. Planned Parenthood's kind of a red herring, honestly. The opposition has chosen to target them because they're everybody's favorite target. Planned Parenthood released a statement about the vote last night. It says, in part, these protesters don't care about our children or our neighborhoods. They're not from Reading. They're out-of-town bullies who used this vote to pursue a narrow political agenda. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. With the 69 News netcast, I'm Haas, the old quarterback.